I'm back with a new video. Have you guys ever heard of battery registration? So if you've ever had a battery replaced in a European car, specifically BMWs are a really common one for it, and you've ever heard the term battery registration and you've thought to yourself, what's battery registration? This video is to answer that question for you. So in some earlier BMWs, battery registration was first brought in due to an issue with the computers in the car. I won't say an issue, it's more just a, um, a technicality with the computers we'll say. So the computers in early model BMWs especially were really sensitive to battery voltage. Too high battery voltage or too low battery voltage could actually cause um, damage to the computer. So obviously over time, a car, a car battery naturally depletes itself they get worse and worse, um, they start to lose their power. So the way that BMW does this is um, they've made it so the alternator, once a battery starts to get older and the alternator realizes that that battery is getting older, it's getting weaker, the alternator is actually designed to put a higher amount of charge back into that battery to maintain its voltage level so that you've got less risk of excessive battery voltage or too low battery voltage causing damage to those really important computers in your car. Now, the problem that comes is when you go to fit a new battery. If you guys have ever had a new battery fitted to a European car, especially BMW, something like that, um, and you've had to, you've dealt with the service center and they've said, uh, we need to register the battery and you've uh, not really understood why. The reason you need to do that is so that the alternator realizes that battery in that car is old. It's putting in a higher amount of charge. You take the old battery out, you put a new battery in. The alternator doesn't know that's a new battery. So the alternator will continue to put that high rate of charge into a brand new battery that doesn't need it. What this will do is this will overcharge the battery and eventually damage the battery. It's a really, really common thing to see on a car that has just had a new battery, but it hasn't had the registration done on it correctly. That battery will generally only last between a year to two years, um, which obviously given the life of a battery, that's not very good. Battery life does depend on so many different things, how often the car's driven, how many times that battery's been flat in its life, how long it's been left flat. Um, but battery registration on European cars, especially BMWs, is a really important part of battery maintenance and changing the batteries. When you put a new battery in the car, you want to make sure the registration's done properly to avoid that battery being overcharged by the alternator and damaging the battery. Now to do the battery registration, you do need a scan tool or a battery registration tool. There are some cars as well that do have a QR code on the battery cover. Um, these are cars like the very new BMWs that are um, connected to BMW's network. They can actually do the battery registration remotely. So the question you may be asking yourself now is, can I do my battery registration myself? Of course you can, but you will need a scan tool like I said before, or you will need a battery registration tool. They are fairly inexpensive. You can buy scan tools for, you know, sort of under 100 to 150 dollar mark to do these battery registrations and it'll do it for a pretty wide variety of cars. So if you've got your own little workshop and you do work on a bit of European stuff, definitely a handy tool to have. Um, what I would recommend with that though is to make sure that you've got a, if you are gonna do it as a part of an, um, a workshop, make sure that you've got a scan tool or a battery registration tool that can do that variety of cars, Peugeot, Citroëns, Mercedes, BMW, etc. Now you're probably thinking, all right, I've just fitted a battery to my car myself it needs registration, how do I go about doing that? There's a couple of simple options. The option number one is if you do feel the need to do it and you are interested in this kind of stuff, you can buy a battery registration tool or a little scan tool that has the capability to do it and you can do it yourself. The other option is you can take the vehicle back into a service center. Most service centers that have got a good scan tool there will have the ability to do this, um, but definitely get it done sooner rather than later, especially with a new battery, especially in some of those European cars because the batteries are quite expensive as well. So hopefully this video just gave you a little bit more of an understanding as to what battery registration is, why it's required, um, and the, some of the side effects that it can have if it's not done correctly or it's not done at all. If you've got any questions about what battery registration is, anything that I haven't quite cleared up in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you thought this was helpful and um, you learned something out of it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos just explaining little things like this, make sure you press that subscribe button, press the little bell icon so that... Uh, you keep up to date with the newest videos from the channel. Um, the next video I'm gonna be doing a review on a HTI thermal imaging camera that I purchased recently. Um, great little bit of kit, really, really, really handy thing, um, especially for electronic, electrical applications. Really good bit of kit. Um, that review I'll hopefully have up in the next couple of days. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in that video and have a great night, see ya.
I've completely forgotten what I was talking about. Yeah. It'll come back to me.